Trello versus Asana. In today's video, I'm going to show you which project management tool would be the better one for you. This could be for personal use or project management for your business, but I'm going to show you the features that come with Trello as well as with Asana. I'm going to show you if you can get a free trial, pricing and all of that good stuff. So if you want to learn how you can use Trello or Asana for project management or for personal use, then this is going to be a great video. I'm going to give my personal opinion and I'll then go over my own workflows and how I use these platforms myself. So if that sounds interesting, then keep watching and let's get into it. Let's start off with pricing. So for Trello, you can sign up for free. They've got paid plans, but you don't need to use them. So you can always go with a free account. With Asana, you can get a free trial, but they don't have free plans. So you can get a 30 day free trial by simply signing up right there. But after those 30 days, you're going to have to upgrade to a premium plan while your Trello account will always be free if you don't decide to upgrade. So that's a big difference in these two platforms. Apart from that, you can easily sign up by simply going to the website and then simply click on sign up and try for free. Once you've signed up, you'll end up on this homepage or on this homepage. So right now, first of all, I'm going to show you how Trello works in terms of operations. And then next up, I'm going to show you how Asana works, but they're actually pretty similar. On Trello, you're going to be working with boards. Now you can have personal boards and you can have team boards. So if you're working with a team, you can create a team board, add other members to that board so that everyone will be able to see that specific board. What you can do when starting out with Trello is choose a template. So if you're doing project management, if you need to do project management, what you can do is simply click on a template and they'll then show you this template that's already set up that you can use for your own business or team. So as you guys can see right there on Trello, you're going to be working with these boards. So this entire thing here is a board. Then right here, we've got a list and then cards in that list. So you can see project resources right there. They'll then add some resources right there. We've got a to do list. So these are all the things that needs to be done. Then we've got a pending list. So all of this is pending. We've got blocked and then we've got done. So this is a similar workflow that I'll use for my own business. So what we normally do is that we've got a to do list. We've got a working on it list and then we've got a done list. So I'll write down all things that we need to do in a specific week. I'll add that in here and my team will then start working on it. So what they will do is that they will grab this card because this, this one is not mine. I would have to click right there. I cannot slide yet, but what I would normally do, there we go, is select a card pretty much and then slide that over to working on it. So this says pending, but you can also change that to working on it if you need to working on it. There we go. And then I know that that person is working on it. What that person then will also do is simply click on change members and he will add himself to this specific card so that I can see who's working on it. So this is great if you're managing a team. Once they're done, they'll then slide it over here to done. And there you go. You've got a pretty decent and easy to understand workflow setup. But this is pretty much how a board works. Like I said, you've got personal boards and you've got team boards. So if you're working with a team, create a team board and then you can add people to it. Now, this is actually pretty similar on Asana. So Asana, you can choose the layout. So you don't have to be using a board just like this. However, I chose to use a board. So right there, I've created YouTube management. You'll see that the layout is indeed in a form of a board. You can also go with a list or pretty much like a time bar or a calendar, but I'll leave that up to you guys. If you guys want to change that, you can simply click on list. It will then look like this. You can go with board. Like I said, you can go with timeline and you can also go with calendar. All right. So this is loading and there we go. So this is what it will then look like. However, I like to go with board since I'm also used to that because I've been using Trello as well. But as you guys can see right there, this is really similar to Trello where you can add specific to do things, for example, and this could be literally anything, right? You can change this. So you can also make this the done list. You can also add that right here. Of course, that's what I would do. So right there, I would do working on it. And then on the next one, I would go with done. There we go. So right here, you can add specific things that need to be done. So you can add different tasks. So for example, record Trello versus Asana video. 
I'm doing that right now. So I would put that in there. Then once I'm doing this, so I'm currently doing this, right? I would drag it over here. And you can see that's really similar to Trello. You can also get some more info. You can add descriptions. You can add a status. You can sign a team member as well. So you can assign a team member. So once people join this specific team, and this is just a test account, so there's no one in here, but you can assign people. So similar to Trello, where you can also add people to a board and they can do it themselves as well. You can then also do that on Asana. So most of these features are actually very similar. So I'm gonna mark this complete, and then next up, I'm gonna drag this over to done. And there we go, because I've been making this video right now, I'm almost done, so this is a done task. And that's how you would set up the workflow on Asana. That's what I recommend doing, at least that's what I do, right? Apart from that, you've also got a homepage. So on here, you will also see um, to do things that expire soon. If you go to Asana, you go to home, you also see that right here, task due soon. So this is actually really similar. Now on Asana, you've also got the my tasks um, page. I really like that one because you can then see what you need to do on one specific page. On Trello, you don't have that as far as I'm concerned. So that's definitely a great thing for Asana. You've then also got your inbox where you can see your activity, so you can find messages and all of that. And on Asana, you can also list goals, which is really cool. So if you click on get started, you can add a goal. For example, a goal that I would like to add is hit 200K subscribers, for example, right? You would then click save goal and that would then show up right here. So this is really cool. And this is not um, on Trello, but what you can do on Trello is simply create a board, right? Let's go to home and then let's click right there, create board. And then what you can simply do is create a goal board. So all of this is actually very similar. It's just different layouts, different kinds of systems. It really depends on your personal preference to what you would like to use. However, I'm always using Trello for my project management. This is not my actual account. I can show you a screenshot right now from all of my boards. I use Trello, but I also like Asana a lot. Um, by the way, guys, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I'm not gonna leave affiliate links, whatever. These are just my honest thoughts and I genuinely wanna help you out. But that's how I use Trello and Asana. And that's a quick comparison video for personal use or for simple project management. So yeah, if this video helps you out, I would really, I would appreciate it if you can leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to see more, let me know if it works, or leave a nice comment below, and then I'll see you next time. If you would like to see a video from me comparing Trello versus Asana versus Monday, then you can click on the video on the end screen right now, and then in that video, I'll compare the three of those, just like I did in this video. So yeah, if you're interested in that, click on the video on the screen, and then I'll see you there. Have a good day.